Hey, yo! It, it just, it, it, it just cut straight to me. Uh, okay, um. I, I don't know what to do with my hands. I, I wasn't expecting it to cut to me in that way. Um, what's going on, Canes fans? Happy spring game day. The Miami Hurricanes are taking the field in roughly five minutes. That's right, five minutes until the spring game kicks off. Now, I went live a little bit early. Hey, this is unlike me. I'm fashionably late to literally everything. You guys know this. But I wanted to try to help some people out with finding the game. If you guys are struggling to find a, a way to watch the game, now you have to keep in mind, I understand that if you're asking, you probably missed my live stream last night and you might have missed all of my videos this week. That's not a shot, that's no shade. I'm just letting you know that I did a full breakdown and rundown on how to watch the game. Last night I spent about 20 minutes letting people know how they could watch the game today. I also put up a tweet that outlines the entire process on how to watch the game today. I'll actually link my tweet. Give me just a second. I'll link my tweet. What's good, Kate? Good to see you in here, my man. Uh, I know it's going to be mass chaos and panicking exactly like we predicted last night. I told you guys it's going to be mass chaos because people are going to panic because they didn't realize that it's not televised. Now, I know people are coming in here and you're saying we want a free link. Right now, there are no links available. This is not something that I have any control over. The websites that typically stream college football games do not stream spring games. I tried to let people know that all week. I said the places that you guys use like uh, Sports Surge and, and Stream East and Crack Streams and all these places, they don't stream spring games because they won't pull the viewers. It's, it's not a regular season game. It's just a spring game. So they don't view them as important. So... They don't stream them. So right now, unless a, a stream goes up on YouTube, which I will actively monitor for you guys, there might not be links. So just keep that in mind. If any free links pop up, I promise you guys, you've seen my setup, right? This is not to boast. I only have this setup because of you guys. You see that all, the, all these monitors? One, two, three, four, five. I will have a tab up and I will actively monitor and look for free links to watch the spring game in case you need it. And if at any point a free link pops up, I will drop it down in the description. We'll throw it in the live chat. I'll make sure that you get your hands on it. So you don't have to worry about that part. However, there is a good chance that there might not be any. Uh, I sent you a stream on Twitter. All right, let me check. But if, if you want to know how to watch it, um, let's see. Oh, are they going to have it? My Max? Are they going to have it? Oh, heck yeah. This might be clutch. We're going to have to clap it up for Max if this is, if this is legit. Because I used to use this site, Max. And I know they went down at one point. You might remember that. They got their site taken down because they compete with crack streams. Or it might be kind of off of them. Oh, are they going to actually have it? Max is going to get all the credit for this. The link man would have possibly failed you guys. This is going to go to Miami Flow Max. Yo. I'm going to put it down there. Let's check. It looks like it's working. Holy smokes. Max, look, look. Yo, we got to. Yo. Yo. Hoop is a babe. Not. Oh, oh, shut up, Fresh. You a babe. Come on now. Hey. I think Max might have us. Guys, now the spring game is not live yet. Spring game is not live yet, so don't panic. It's not going to show up just yet. Max hooked us up. It's at the very bottom of the description. Y'all thank Max for that with the Miami Flow team. I can actually change it. I'll change my link thing, and I'll put links at the link at the bottom of the description. Link in description. Spell Coop. Spell Coop. Come on. Link in description. There it is. Boom. Courtesy of Max. Coming in clutch, bro. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I could not find one. I did not realize that that site was still operating. He's got us, y'all. He's freaking got us. Hey, let's go. 
Hey, man, for real, appreciate you. That's, that's looking out for the fam right there because I tried my best and I couldn't find anything. So if, if you don't want to use the free link, real quick heads up because we only have a couple of minutes here. What you're going to want to do is if you have a cable, satellite, or streaming service provider, just bear with me for just a second, that has ACC Network in your package, what you're going to want to do is go to ESPN.com or the ESPN app on your phone or smart TV, whatever you have, you will find the spring game on there. Log in when you click on it with your service provider login info, you know, Spectrum, Xfinity, uh, whoever you have, DirecTV. Log in with your login credentials for that service provider, and then you will be able to watch the game. If you don't have that, you could subscribe to ESPN Plus, which is $10.99. So you're basically paying $10.99 to watch the spring game, but you pay $10.99 for an ESPN Plus subscription, and then you do the exact same process. Go to ESPN.com or download the ESPN app on your smartphone or smart TV. Log in with your ESPN Plus info. Voila, you're watching the game. So that's gonna be that's gonna be the best way. Uh, I'm buffering. Everything looks good on my end. Might have to refresh. Everything looks good on my end, anyways. Uh, or illegally watch. There's only one link available. It seems. Looks like there's only one link. It's down in the uh, description, down at the very bottom. So if you guys need links, help me out. Let people know. Like, do I need to make? I probably need to make this bigger, don't I? We probably need to make this bigger. Um, let's do this. People still won't notice it, but it's it's all good. Let's see. Let's do this. Boom. Let's do that. Link in description. We'll put it up nice and bold up in the corner. There we go. Maybe some people will see it. Maybe they won't. Uh, we're just gonna. It's gonna be a few minutes because we're gonna try to get settled in for everything. Katie, it's good to see you, Katie. Uh, the link is at the very bottom of the description. I cannot put the game on my screen. That's a quick way to get banned. I do this for a living. There's no way I can show the game. Uh, we got chill in the building. What's up? My man, Duck. Uh, happy to see everybody here. Robert. Who else we got? Justin. Kane's Dolphins 89. Appreciate you. James Kane. So you can go to the ESPN app, and there is a, a watch button down at the bottom. Click it. It's at the bottom in the middle. Click that. And it will take you over. Come on, when's it starting? It's four o'clock. Yo. Four o'clock. Come on. Let's go, ESPN Plus. Come on. What's up, Eric? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. HD. Swag Kane. Yo, we got Ryan. Dude 67. I appreciate y'all. Frogman. Bill Kerr. Appreciate all you guys being here. Joey did that. I don't see the link at the bottom. I refresh the stream. Expand the description. It's down at the very bottom. Hey, no problem, Joey. I appreciate you stopping in, my man. Appreciate you very much. How's it going, Coop? I'm ready to see how year two is with these coordinators. I'm not expecting anything super crazy out of the spring game. I think, actually, believe it or not, some Florida State fans brought up a good point yesterday saying that this would be a good opportunity for this coaching staff to make Cam Ward look as good as possible. So give him lots of opportunities. They've hyped him up. They paid him a lot of money. He needs to look good today. Otherwise, it'll be an entire summer of fans questioning their decision on bringing Cam Ward in. So they can't make the throws for him. He's still got to make those throws. But, I mean, they're going to set him up with some plays to give him some opportunities to look as good as possible. And I think that's a really great take. We know that the first half is full contact. The second half is thudding with no taking to the ground. So I'm hoping that every quarterback gets an opportunity at some point in the first half while it's full contact, so there's no excuses. Everybody, maybe not Judd because he's the freshman, but Cam Ward, obviously, Emory Williams, Jakari Brown, and Reese Poffenbarger. I'm hoping all those guys get an opportunity in the first half. Hey, Coop, ACC will lose Clemson and FSU. They might. They might. Good to see you in here, though, Jonathan Cook. How you doing, Coop? I'm doing good, bro. I'm doing good. Just waiting for this game to pop up. Still nothing yet. Is it live now? Are we live? Are we live? 
be uh, getting inducted into Canton later this August. So on wow, it didn't refresh for us. It's live, y'all. Yo, it's live. All right, hold on. It's on. It's on. Don't panic. Hold on. We're missing the first throw. Yo. Come on. Come on. I got to refresh my own. It's on. It's been on, fam. My feed ain't working. Hold on. This would happen to me, wouldn't it? We're missing the first little part here. Let's get the um, let's get the scoreboard up there. Dang, I can't believe we're missing the first part of it here. All right, I can't keep showing this though. We can't do the copyright. Hold on. It's always mass chaos the first few minutes into the stream. People are always like, "Is this what it's always like?" Uh, at the beginning, yeah. At the beginning. Uh, but once we get settled in, it'll chill out. Okay. We'll have the scoreboard down at the bottom. The way we can keep track of who's winning, Miami or Miami. Work with me, work with me. All right, there we go. I think we're set, y'all. I think we're set. I just got to refresh it on my end so I can see what the heck is going on. And we can react to it and have some fun, so... Citizen always hurt with a cast on him. They're going to do some like precautionary stuff as well. Just because, I mean, they, you know, they want to protect the guys as best as possible. So I, I kind of get it. Uh, let's see. I, I, I can't even see it right now, y'all. I'm trying to get it pulled up on my end. I can see it on my second monitor, though. Cam Ward scrambling. Okay. They're, de they're not going to hit the quarterbacks. All right, here we go. Now it says live. Let's go. Here we go. All right, now we're in, y'all. Now we're in. Let's go. Hey, if you got questions, hey, you want the link in the description? I got you, bro. I got you, bro. I'll drop the link in the description for those that need it. Otherwise, it's at the very bottom of the description. Help some people out. Send them over. They don't have to like my stream. They don't have to be subbed. None of that matters. Uh, all they got to do is just find it at the very bottom of the description there. I got y'all. All right, here we go. See Cam Ward drive down the field. What's up, bro? Good to see you, my man. Oh, nice. Let's go, X! Let's go! Let's go! The extra effort from Xavier Restrepo. Let's freaking go. Picking up that yak. Breaking the tackle, too, man. Yo. What's up, Sage? Can I get one quick sound check from the audio engineers in the building? Too quiet, too loud, just right. Okay, Lofton is on the field. We like to see that. We said we wanted to see Lofton this afternoon. Sound is quick. Huh? What does that mean? What channel is on ACC Network Extra or ESPN Plus? The game is streamed. It is not televised. Two different things. Oh, you wanted a quick sound check. You got me. All right, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Thank you, Katie. Tell them, bro. Tell them. Y'all need links. They're down there. They're down there. You want to see JoJo? Me too, bro. Okay, so Lofton. Lofton over there beside Cam Ward. We love it. Let's see him down in the red zone. Third and goal. Easy. Easy money to Horton. Touchdown, Miami. Let's go! Canes are in the lead. I'll take it. Isaiah Horton with the touchdown. 
first team offense i'm putting air quotes because you know there might be some experimentation but first team offense marches down the field uh, really honestly x breaking that tackle picking up yards after the catch put miami in a great position there and lofton was on the field a lot there so you love to see it what's up cali Kane gang Okay, good deal. You have to pay for the link that was sent. No, Catfish Gene, the links here will always be free. If if it if it pops up an ad, close out of the ad, go right back, relaunch it, and you'll be watching. Is it wrong to just be watching Coop while hiding in the bathroom at work? Just asking because I'm totally not doing that. Uh, no, I do that all the time. I uh, I, I do that all the time. Completely normal. You feel sorry for the D today. I think you're in agreement with what we talked about yesterday, right, Katie? Or last night? It's, you know, they, they really they really want to make the offense look good for sure. All right, here we go. First look at Poff in a Miami Hurricanes uniform, y'all. Let's get it. Let's go. First look at Poff. Come on, we're rooting for all these guys. It don't matter who's back there. Okay. Thank you, Robert. What channel is the game on? It is it is streamed, not aired on television. Yeah, so no matter what, Swag Kane, no matter what, People are going to hate on the offense or the defense. It's Miami versus Miami. You you really can't win here. It's just show up and show out as best you can. No matter what, there'll be something to harp on. If you know when X made that play right there, you're going to harp on the guy who missed the tackle, but then you're going to celebrate X breaking the tackle and picking up extra yards. You know what I'm saying? Is Poff tatted up? If I say let's go D, does that mean I hate the O? Yes. Uh-huh, it does. Link is in the chat. Link is in the chat to watch the game for free. Don't feel obligated to hang out. Pressure-free environment. Come on, Poff. Hey guys, a pass. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A pass to a tight end. No! No! Oh yeah, in real time, Paul probably would have taken a sack there. Yeah, again, you you just gotta take take what we got and just kind of have fun with it. Oh, okay. Washington turning on the Jets a little bit. Okay. You're across the street from Cobb Stadium, watching it with binoculars. Coop, why do people not think Poff has a chance because he played in FCS? But forget that Ward also originally came from FCS. I have no idea. Uh, any of those guys could push for QB2. Poff, Jakari, or Emory. I don't think they really want to play Emory much this season. Uh, that's not a shot at Emory. I think they want to preserve him. So I honestly I have no idea. I think it's more so people who are fans of Jakari who are upset that they brought in two transfer portal guys and feel like it's maybe trying to push him out. I don't know. I just think that whoever earns it, earns it. Straight up. Mama Coop in the building. Any links for the game? Very bottom of the description, my man. We got you. Courtesy of Max. We need that USC DB Fegan. They're gonna they're they're gonna try to to pull some guys for sure. After today, there's gonna be lots of transfer portal videos, so just uh buckle up. But Mario's like, let me coach. 
trying to actively interview him. He's like, let me coach. All right, here we go. Okay, hard run there. Come on, citizen. Sign two DBs, ideally, yeah. What's wrong with citizen? I mean, guys are still kind of beaten and banged up a little bit. I mean, they just went through lots of spring practices. Plus, they're also going to be kind of cautious, some precautionary stuff. Just extra protection for some of these guys, just in case. You don't want them, you want no injuries in the spring game. It ain't that serious. They figured this stuff out in the closed scrimmages. It'd be so tough. You're right, Katie. It'd be so tough being the defense, knowing that you can't unload on the quarterback. I, right, right, come on. You know what I mean? You know they want to get in there. There's a difference between winning on good execution and winning because the other side is making mistakes. That first drive was almost exclusively bad defense. Yeah, I know, but like people, again, people are going to overanalyze it a bit. You call the transfer QB Muffinburger. Easier to say than Poffenbarger. The defense is handcuffed a little bit. That's not an excuse, I'm just saying. Do Ray Ray have any highlights yet? Not yet, Harvard. Okay, so Poff was not able to lead the offense down the field on his first opportunity there. Okay. All right. The thing is, uh, okay, we got a commercial break so we can small talk for a second. We talked about it last night that I, I don't speak for everyone, but my opinion has always been that the spring game is a fan first event. You're not going to see anything super crazy out here. I realize that we're still going to dissect the play calling and talk about it just because it's just part of it. Don't expect anything super wild and crazy. It's the spring game. So I know everyone says it's the first look and it's this and it's that. They're going to try what they really want to try in the closed scrimmages, which was no media, no fans. That's when the coaching staff is going to try things. That's when they're going to really figure out things when it comes to the depth chart. That's just how it is. So it's there's nothing wrong with nitpicking it and, and talking about it because it, it, it is right here for us to see. And we want to see guys playing hard and, and making plays and mistake-free football. Just don't overthink it. Don't overthink it because it's Miami versus Miami. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? I I think they, they do want to try to preserve Emory. So, I don't know if they're going to redshirt, but probably that would be my guess. As long as Off and or JB look like they can come in and fill the role as QB2 or QB3 or whatever order they are. Unless they're in panic mode and they, they need Emory. Hopefully Emory sticks and they can continue to develop him. Did you turn the train horn yet? I sure did. I sure did. Yeah, it's going to be basic. It's, it's, it's fine to nitpick. We react live in the moment here, but it's, it's going to be kind of chill. Good to see you, Joshua. Yeah, I, I honestly, it, we need all the quarterbacks to stay. All of them. Dang, I should have wore my jersey. I literally have that jersey hanging up in the laundry room. JoJo better hit the field or we rage. All right, here we go. Cam Ward's going to be back on the field. Second look at Ward. Let's get it. Oh, flag, false start.
where the game at uh, acc network extra or espn plus link at the bottom of the description All right, come on. Somebody make a play. I would like to see a big play from the defense. An interception, create a fumble, some, a little sidearm action from Ward. Okay. Okay. No Jakari Brown yet. Yep, they went Cam Ward, off, back to Cam Ward. I'm guessing next series then... Might be Jakari. That'd be my guess. Scotty Digital, what's up? It feels good to see a lot of the the game day people hopping back in here. Let's have some fun this afternoon. Let's enjoy it for a little bit. Do you think we have enough speed at the wideout position? Um, speed, yes. Somebody's got to step up and be that number one guy outside of Restrepo. Miami needs like a true, solid, consistent deep threat. And somebody's got to come up and say, I'm that guy. So I, I know you're specifically mentioning speed. I feel like we got guys that are fast enough, but they got to put it all together because speed alone isn't enough. And Tyler Harrell proved that. He was one of the fastest dudes on the field last season and really didn't see any playing time. And Kevin Beard even talked about that. He said he's got to learn how to control it and how to properly use that speed. My car is a lightning bolt. Not, Ray Ray is very quick also. True. Uh, but those guys are probably going to play a little more inside, right? Like we need we need that that outside deep threat. Consistent. Somebody consistent, man. So maybe Horton. Maybe Jacoby George. We'll see. Good question, though. What's up, Bobby? So the offense going backwards. That's no bueno. That's not what we want. Come on, Cam. Spin it. Come on! <sighs> okay. Tried to take a shot there to Horton, but incomplete. Third and 15. Scoreboard is live down at the bottom. This is what it take. My oh, man, Charles. To where do you? Appreciate you, bro. I'm sorry, your helmet. No message. No message. I'll put you up there, Charles. The link in the description takes you to FUBU. So that is an ad, Robert. What you do is click the play button, close the FUBU ad, click the play button again. That's just how free links work. It's just kind of part of it. Something that you got to deal with, unfortunately. But you will get to watch the game if you do that. Appreciate that, Charles. No message, though, bro. All good, all good. Colby Young showed out, hated to lose him. I hated losing Colby Young. And a lot of people did not agree with me. They called Colby Young soft. I think that was a huge this loss. This is what it take. To you on the side of your helmet. Why didn't it read it? Tucci. Tucci with the 10 says, Glad I put the stream on my computer and not the TV since the ad popped up was for a... Ah, that. The P word. Not sure how we can judge the DBs in this game, which we really need. It's It's honestly impossible to judge them just because they're they're kind of handcuffed and, and limited a bit, right? So it is it's very tough to judge here. So here's Emory Williams. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, Ray Ray. Okay. Tucci, real quick. Thank you so much for that cheesecake, bro. That thing was seven pounds. I shared it with my entire family. Thank you, Tucci. That's huge, my man. I'll sit you atop your throne. Those those ads can be real bad on those on the free sites, but it's just unfortunate part of it. Uh, but thankfully, it is a way to watch the game at least. Tucci, my man, thank you for the love with the big ten. Y'all don't know Tucci sent me a seven pound cheesecake, a 
uh, the real kind. Not the frozen stuff you go buy from Walmart. All right, come on, Emery. So we went Cam, Poff, Cam, Emery right now. What's up, Jay? I have not seen JB yet. No JB yet. So who are the two safeties that will take place of Williams and the other safety? Not 100% sure who the starters are going to be yet, Harvard. We got to see some good solid runs here. Wheatley Humphrey getting some burn. I appreciate you being here, Michael. Seminole Seth. Yo, what's up, man? Where's the link at the description at the very bottom? Thank you for helping me out, Michael. Michael. All right, second and two. It's nice to see Emery out there being able to play after after what he went through. Okay, quick pass to Ray Ray. Just enough. Just enough. Move the chains. Let's go. Williams throw looked good. Nice tight spiral. See, that's what we got to look at. That that those are the things we can pay attention to. Okay, Shamar Kirk out there. Markel Bell, okay. Definitely need a bigger back in the transfer portal. Given what I'm hearing about Fletcher, I do think they should possibly bring one in. Oh! Okay. I like seeing that from the defense. Somebody stripping the ball, ripping it out of Emery's hands. Again, give and take. Like, you gotta, if the defense does something good, yo, offense does something good, heck yeah. Okay. I like that. Yeah, I feel you, Jay. They got they got some interesting names. That's for sure. I'm glad you're able to watch the game though, Tucci. Okay. Ah, oh, you had to dump it down. I'd like to see Emery throw a deep ball because there's a lot of talk about him struggling with that in spring. That he didn't really look on point. So let's see it. Anything from Citizen? Yeah. Hey, Citizen has been getting some carries. Agent Kane, what's up? What's up, coach? Uh, upstate New York. Taking my boy to see us play in Syracuse this year. That's awesome. You guys are going to enjoy it. All right, come on. Big third down here. Third and 11. Come on, Emery. Convert. Mm, that was ugly there. Kind of ugly there. Ended up in a, a tough situation. Weren't able to move the change. The chains, not the change. Did Dudu get his ticket? He did. Hey, y'all, check this out. During my stream last night, you guys know Dudu. He's a regular viewer on my channel. He, um, Patty was in my stream last night, and Patty said, hey, I have a, an extra ticket to the spring game. Does anyone need one? And I said, hey, our man Dudu is looking for one. Like, let's, let's hook him up. So I played middleman between Patty and Dudu and got Dudu a ticket. Look at this pick that Dudu took today. He he texted me this earlier. Look at this. My man Dudu got a pick with, with KB, with the wide receivers coach. Let's go. All right, so they're putting Cam Ward back in. Bro, Lofton might be the, the steal that we got. Lofton, man, is going to be all over the freaking field. They they better play him. They better give him some opportunities because dude's coming in as a tight end and he's playing running back. Like, yo.
Let's get it, man. So it looks like they're just alternating and putting Cam Ward in every other possession. They want to give him a lot of opportunities here. Oh! If you watch Coop, you may just get some tickets. True. If he wouldn't have been in here, it wouldn't have happened. You like that first drive from Cam Ward? That's the only time the Canes have been in the end zone. That opening drive. He is huge, Brandon. Elijah Lofton is, is a big boy. William's sidearm was ugly. It was. Who got a link for the game? It's in the dis uh, description. Okay, Fresh. Lofton is one of those where I truly believe like you can't keep him off the field because they need him. They need someone with his skill set. No P.I.? No P.I. there? Okay, third and six. That's fine because I want, I want to see Cam Ward in this offense in the, in the third down situation here. All right, here we go. Here we go, Cam. Let's go. Let's go. Third and six. Ah. He had a window there. He had a window. We could have hit him there because I don't. I don't think Savion Riley could have got there in time. You saw the the transfer from Vandy, Riley coming in, who might have been able to try to make a play on it, but it, it, Cam Ward had an opportunity there. So this is what we talked about. We wanted to see them put the team in some tough situations and see how they respond. Fourth and six, can they convert? What's going to happen here? Are they not going to actually do it? Let's see. I hope they do it. It's the spring game. This is where I say you have to remember they're probably not actually going for it at, in a real game in this situation. But they can play pretend and say that maybe this is actually further down the field. It's fourth and six. Miami has to have this to have a chance to win the game. Let's pretend that it's in the fourth quarter. So they just want to see if they can actually convert it, if they can make it happen. That's why I say you got to remember that the, the, the spring game is, they want to test some things. They want to see. Will any paid services show every Kane game this coming season? ESPN Plus is a pretty safe bet. Rocky Top Kane. I don't know, Katie. I can't speak on it because I'll get attacked. Is Lofton the tight end that's been getting reps at running back? Yes. Yep. He wasn't open. I mean, there were three guys in the vicinity, so it would have been tough. Maybe he had a small window there if he could have hit it. Maybe. But that would have been a pretty difficult throw. It's short. It's short. No? They gave it to him? I thought that was short. Did he get it? Another throw to a tight end. Was that enough? For real? Elijah Lofton is our Travis Hunter. Could be. We're going 12-0. Uh, I, I ain't making any, <laughs> no predictions. All right, here we go, y'all. Jakari. All right, they get a fresh set of downs. Here comes Jakari. All right, here we go. This is the point in a real game. Or Mario doesn't call timeouts because he wants to save them. Oh. Oh. That hurts. All 
Oh? Okay. I don't think see I know they they can't really they can't hit the quarterbacks, but I don't think they would have got him there. I think he in a in a real game if that was live, I think he still would have escaped. Big run from Jakari. That is an aspect that he brings to his game. All right, one down. One down. JB doesn't even have to play that well to start a bunch of controversy based on what the other three guys have shown. True? True? I think he does get away right there. First look at all of the quarterbacks now. Jakari's going to get to finish this drive, I'm assuming. All right. So how are we feeling? How are we feeling, y'all? I will only believe it when we take a knee. Fair, fair. 11-1, and one, lose to Louisville at Louisville. I'm a little scared of Braum, I won't lie. So how are we feeling? One quarter down in the spring game. Big chilling. What are we thinking? You think JB11 trucks the dude at the end of that run? Maybe. Jakari's not afraid of uh, contact. Definitely not afraid of contact. Sunbelt Billy gonna beat no knee Mario Cristobal. <laughs> oh, you said please. As in, not gonna happen. I got you. Got to carry the ball better, very loose with the ball. Fair. Yeah. JB is fast. JB is definitely fast. It's been boring so far. The action needs to pick up big time. Last season's spring game was much funner. Yeah, I mean, it's that thing again. It's going to be pretty vanilla. You got to go into it expecting that, but you do kind of want to put on a show since it's a fan event. What channel, Alex? It is on uh, ACC Network Extra and ESPN Plus. So it's not televised, it is streamed. There is a link at the bottom of this, the description if you need it. One Ward, two Brown, three Poffenbarger, four Williams. It could be. That's why I thought it was funny. I know I keep addressing it and bringing up drama, but everyone's arguing about this Jakari Brown four-string quarterback thing. My whole argument was that there's no official depth chart right now. No, Nobody knows where Jakari Brown is at on the depth chart because there is not one right now. So, in my opinion, the entire argument is honestly kind of pointless. I just entertain it because everybody wants to talk about it. He might be QB2. I still think there's a good chance it's it's 2A, 2B with Brown and Poff, potentially. That's just my opinion. I got you, Alex. Okay, JB sending it! Oh, man. That felt like the Rutgers game all over again. Right there. Dang. I wanted him to show the replay. It almost looked like he, he almost had his fingertips on it. I thought Robbie was going to be able to haul that in. That's a cool story, Bluto. All right, come on, second and ten. Flag on the play. I'm going to try again to get Devin Hester on the show this season. I had him lined up last season, and he had to back out last second. I'm hoping we can get him on. Washington wasn't lengthy enough for it. Okay. All right, second and 15. Got to make the third down a little more manageable. Come on, offense. 
Come on, defense. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Not a good throw there to Shamar Kirk. Too high. Yeah, I kind of do too, Katie. Yeah, and it looked like he, he could. Looked like he could, Briley. All right, third and 15. Third and 15, come on. Come on, JB, let's go. He's open. Nice ball. Nye Carr looks a little bigger out there than I thought. I mean, he's not a huge dude, but I'm just saying he looks a little bigger than I thought. Nice ball. Good catch. Okay. Hester is my all-time favorite cane as well. Horton would have had that. It's very possible, Cajun Kane. Oh, uh, miscommunication there? Okay, JB says that's on him. Have deep ball phobia? Maybe. There was nothing like firing up the old NCAA football game and just running all over the place with Devin Hester. Can't beat it. All right, here we go. Second, 10. Quick little throw to Kirk. Okay, manageable third down here. Let's go. Manageable third down. All right, what's the play, Dawson? You also got to remember that when some of these quarterbacks are out here, they're rotating the surrounding cast. So the O-line's going to be different. Like right now, it's Wheatley Humphrey back there, not Lofton or Citizen. Got to keep all those things in mind. This is sloppy as hell, Coop. I'm honest. I honestly have a feeling that's going to be the vibes in a lot of spring games. Cameraman. Cameraman. Hello. Well, we have no idea what happened. Cameraman fell asleep. All right, I mean. Touchdown, Miami! Whoa! Ca Cameraman's sleeping on the job. Somebody's getting fired. Come on now. Yeah, they there's no reason to risk it, right, Kevin? And again, that's where I say don't overthink it. There we go. Now we got a good little view. Jackson Carver, touchdown to a tight end. I'll take a touchdown to a tight end after what we saw last season. JB with the touchdown throw. Only two quarterbacks that have drove down the field and this scored are Cam Ward and Jakari Brown. Let's get it. Your helmet. Slam 10 with the five. No message. Slam 10. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you for that. Straight to the PayPal, too. Y'all aren't playing. See, this is where it'll be funny. Because I know what's going to happen. I, I, I guarantee you this is what's going to happen. People are going to go to my Jakari Brown video and say, Coop, Jakari Brown balled out in the spring game. Uh, what's this video about? And they're not actually going to watch the video where I say it's very likely Jakari Brown could be QB2 because there's no depth chart. He could also be three. He could also be four. I, again, I know I keep throwing it out there, but people just miss the entire point of that video. 
The entire point of the video was me saying that Emery and Jakari both have just been kind of mediocre. And one of them needs to step up. And Poff is also in the mix. And it was going to be a battle to see who falls into two, three, and four. That was that was literally the video. Maybe he's two, maybe he's three, maybe he's four. I don't know. Nobody knows. Uh, I think that they're probably going to try to make some money off of it. I think so, Joshua. I They said it's not going to be a Madden copy and paste, but we'll see. I kind of find that hard to believe. We are dealing with EA here. Hope he hits the portal and tells Mario to F off. Fair. JB is a better game day QB, not a practice QB. Plus, Emery and him are at the same level in practice. That's fair take. That's a level-headed take. I like that. JB is the second best QB on the roster. K, don't care what anybody says. He could be. He could be. The added element of running should bring JB at number two. I mean, that puts JB and Poff closer to Cam Ward's skill set. Like, Emery doesn't fit Cam Ward's skill set as far as extending plays, being a little more mobile. JB and Poff fit that a little more. Our QB1 next year is not in this team. You think we go to the portal again? Okay, I like the extra effort there from Horton. T2I got it up on YouTube. Oh, like he's streaming the game? I hope he's careful with that. Oh, yeah, Christopher, it's going to be a blast, bro. Are you going to jump on stream and play me? We're going to do live streams playing the game. JB has uh, the intangibles that the other QBs don't have. It's a shame if he transfers and we lose him. I hope he stays, 100%. Like I said, so many people are putting words in my mouth and think that I hate Jakari Brown. And then every time I ask for evidence, they point to videos I've done where I argue that my prediction is that he transfers, but I don't want him to. They don't understand how to separate a prediction from what I actually hope happens. The same applies to game day predictions. When I predict Miami to lose, I don't want them to lose. My whole argument is that the coaching staff will figure it out and they'll put these guys where they should be. Simple as that. It doesn't go any deeper than that with me. No, you're right. So far, Riley. So far. I haven't seen anything from Poff that would, would elevate him. I agree. Robert Jason, appreciate the two, my man. Appreciate you, bro. Always showing me love. This is what it take to wear the U on the side of your helmet. Thanks much, co-op. Lighten up, fans. It's early. Uh, come on, Mish. Let's, let's see. No, no offense to Cam, but let's see Mish get a pick or something here. I know Mish and X have been battling it out all through spring. I had to throw it away. Dang. Jonathan says, nobody's going to get a copyright penalty for streaming a Miami game. They wouldn't even pop up on the radar. I'll be watching that Florida State spring game, Jonathan. Don't you worry. Wheatley Humphrey's been looking pretty good. You're right, Brandon. Yeah, athleticism, definitely. And, and Briley, here's what I like about Briley. Uh, he's open-minded. It's not just shots. If it is, it's playful banter. Uh, he, he tries to actually be open and honest about it, read the situation. And uh, I respect Briley's takes. My man, legendary scratch builds. With the 30, 50, third and 12 here. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. 
Was that in? Was that in? Uh, I'm iffy on that. Uh, I think that he probably... I think he probably gets tackled right there in a game. I think that's probably a sack or a throwaway. Not nitpicking, I'm just saying. Because you can see they kind of retched for him, but they backed off last second. Because, again, you don't want to be the guy that ends up taking Cam Ward to the ground and, and something happens. Uh, still cool to see X make the throw this right there at the, at the sideline. To where do you... On the side of your helmet. Coop, you're the man. Can't wait for the season to start. Go Canes. I want a game against you. Oh, PS5. We, we are going to make that happen, Legendary. Oh, we're going to make that happen. My man taking over the top spot with the 3050. We are absolutely going to line it up and run it on College Football 25 live on stream. I want to give you an opportunity to showcase your skills in front of the college football family. You're going to get your shot at me. All right. Legendary Scratch Builds, thank you for the 3050, my man. I'll sit you atop your throne. We will run it. You best believe. My man always showing me some love. Are you going to have a Discord for it? Yes. And so we'll jump in voice chat. We'll trash talk. Uh, it's going to be really fun. And we'll do it right here. We'll do it right here. All right, so another little commercial break here. Anything really shocked you guys so far? Great catch by X, X probably a sack, but spring game. I agree. Yep. I agree 100% in a game. Uh, that would have been a sack, Riley. They, ha they had to let up a little bit. O-line is missing Malanoa. Agreed. Um, definitely missing him. You butchered your last comment. What was it, Katie? Last year they had to line the tight end up on Malanoa's side to protect him from the quick edge rushers. That may stifle the tight end once the season starts unless Malanoa or if unless Malanoa hasn't gotten quicker in protect. No, that makes sense. That makes sense, Cody. You're shocked that Ward hasn't looked better? I think he's looked okay. For real though, legendary scratch builds. Much love, my man. And that's wild to think that Bane's not out there. And they they are getting some pressure on Ward. Uh, if it was live and hitting the quarterbacks, there would be a couple sacks right now. Okay is not really okay for a million-dollar man. If that's happening during the season, I agree. I, I, I only take parts of the spring game. Again, I know you can take some of it, but... I'm, with the spring game, I'm just kind of, eh. Okay. I like the willingness to try to make a play and being a little creative. Obviously, that can get you in trouble at times. But, for instance, TVD is not, TVD is not doing that in that situation. TVD is either just going to send it anyways or he's going to throw it away there. What's up, Bells? 0-3 on deep balls is shocking and concerning. That's fair. Spring game is vanilla. Yep. That's why again I'm just I'm not super concerned. We'll dissect it, but I'm not I'm not super crazy concerned here. But D line getting some pressure, like I said, and, and without Bane, that's a little scary.
Yep. I think that's that's the time you really watch, Katie. But can Ward drive them down the field again and put it in the end zone? Are you going to watch TVD spring game? Probably not. Nah. I got no interest in Wisconsin. Was he down? Or is he in? He's in. Touchdown to X. Touchdown Miami. All right, all right. Mr. Consistent. That is XR7. Okay, okay. I do also think, can we agree on this? No excuses. No excuses. They're, they're, they're rotating dudes in and out, and sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to find a rhythm. Like, I know that that kind of falls in line with you would sit a drive in a real game, but I'm talking about every position, not just quarterback. It's, there's a lot of rotating in and out, moving guys around, trying some things, uh, playing different groups together. Like, again, it's spring. It's spring. Not impressed with Cam Ward. Okay. Everyone's allowed to have their opinion. All right. I respect it. Has anything caught your eye so far, Coop? Um, for me, the the pressure on the on the quarterback so far. If if this were live and they could hit the quarterbacks, there would have been a couple sacks so far. But people are allowed their opinions. As I said, if uh, this is a place where people can voice their opinions, no matter what they are, good, bad, in between, it don't matter. But then people are allowed to fire back with their opinions. You know what I'm saying? Coop, I hope we score so many touchdowns this year, you have to replace that cart the horn is on. You know what? That'd be 100% worth it. Yeah, daddy is bona fide. Oh, shoot. No complaints from me on X. X will get another 1K. He better. He should. Ward making something out of nothing is a good sign. That has had to happen a couple times. That has happened a couple times. And that's something I feel like we didn't get with TVD. TVD was not going to make something out of nothing. I'm sorry. The ball leave Ward's hands so smooth. If teams had dropped eight and rushed three on Mark Rick, he'd have given them a steady diet of throws to backs until they stopped. True. Mark Rick is a smart coach. Man, we already got some people chopping it up about Florida State and some other matchups. Okay. So Cam Ward, 11 of 16, 161 yards, two touchdowns, zero picks. Okay. That wildly variable arm angle of Ward cost him consistency between short, intermediate, and deep throws. I 100% remember you saying that. Sure do. All right, second look at Poff. Okay, I'll take four or five on first down. Ray Ray Joseph. It's just funny because I know what the biggest takeaway from the spring game is going to be and what all the content creators are going to do. And it's going to be making videos about the quarterbacks. People want to say, complain about me saying somebody's stirring the pot. Everybody's going to be stirring the pot. It's saying stirring the pot's not a shot. Stirring the pot is anyone talking about the quarterbacks is going to stir the pot. It doesn't matter what your opinion is. Talking quarterbacks gets the fan base riled up. It is what it is. You want to be in the game, you got to play the game sometimes. That means you got to stir the pot a little, which means talking about the quarterbacks. Legendary scratch builds. Welcome to the Canes fan, my man. 
You guys be sure to welcome Legendary Scratch Bills to the fam. Appreciate that, bro. Got that U by your name looking good. Third and four for Poff. That's enough. That's enough. Move the chains. Whitley Humphrey has looked out, has looked solid. Can every quarterback that comes in score a touchdown? Emory and Poff have not. So let's see. Let Poff send it. Let's see. Oh, deep shot. Uh. Word stats look good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, TVD. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no comment. I don't mind the aggressiveness on the first down, though. Good hard run. Good hard run. No JoJo catch yet. Is JoJo out there? Have y'all seen JoJo? All this talent just to lose to the Knowles again. I'm going to pin that bad boy up there. I'm putting you up top. All right, third and three. Can they convert? Oh, wow. No. Throw away from Poff. True. That makes sense, Sauce Vader. That makes sense with it being just thudding. Not tackling to the ground. You definitely don't want to get those guys hurt either. All right, so they're going to go for it on fourth and three here with Poff. Let's see. What do we got? Fourth and three. A little too far out there. Ray Ray's getting multiple targets though, which makes me excited. A little too much. Yep, Joshua's tracking him. JoJo caught a ball early, I thought. He might have and I missed it. No injuries, please. That's number one. Number one. This team has the personnel, but our coaches don't adjust and adapt in game. I just don't trust our coaching to win from the sideline. That's my big concern. That's fair. And that sucks, Katie. It sucks if true. Because there's no way to fix that without just replacing people on the staff, right? Like, you, you're just kind of screwed either way. Okay, so I missed the JoJo catch. My bad. All right, going back to Ward, QB1. Loft him by his side. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, X! Dang, I like the play call. I like the creativity and stuff, but Ward was calling for the ball back to him from X, and X just, just took a shot. Doo-doo! Doo-doo, I showed him your picture with KB. You enjoying the game, Doo-doo? I don't know if you can hear me because I know you're at the game, but hey, we... Hey, let's let's have a talk then. Looking at that arm strength, uh, Xavier Restrepo, QB5. X, QB5? Anybody? 
Heck yeah, I do, do. Love it, man. Coop, will Walt Walter Nolan go to the portal? I don't know, man. I don't know. Lofton. Lofton, 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 man. Let's go. I'm going to keep my mouth shut between Pop and JB. I'll leave that beef to Coop and Caneville. See, the problem is there is no beef. My argument was there's no depth chart. We don't know where anyone lands. That's what's funny. People are trying to make there be some kind of beef. There's no beef. Uh, they have their opinion on where they want Jakari to land. My opinion is there is no depth chart right now. We'll see. That's it. XR7 QB2. Now, that's what we need to talk about. What channel is this on? So, the game is not televised, Chris. You have to stream it. So, you have to watch it through the ESPN app. Or, uh, that's about it, really. That's really about it. I mean, ACC Network or Extra or ESPN Plus. Or I've got a link at the bottom of the description, Chris, if you need it. Six, y'all already have five QBs. I mean, maybe you put X above Judd, Briley? Oh, it's on Hulu? Okay, or Hulu. Maybe X jumps Judd since Judd's a freshman? <laughs> but no, for real, they're, they're, like I said, there's no beef. If if Caneville wants to say there's a beef, like I said, they took everything the wrong way. I expect them to talk about the quarterbacks. I don't know why people were pissy about me saying they stirred the pot. Uh, they took it the wrong way. I say I'm stirring the pot in every quarterback video. I don't know why some people took it personal. That's just that's a weird take to me. All right, fourth down. I sent you that pick via text. Do you know who who that was? No, I do not. There's about to be a beef between you and Caneville. I don't know where all this came from, Katie. It's why I was so shocked and surprised. I can give my opinion on on the quarterback situation, but I never named any kind of depth depth chart. I just said it might be this, it might not. Ah. Trying to give it to Lofton. Oh. The Saint? Ooh. The Saint was drawing it up a little bit. Everybody said that, that Cam Ward likes to run his mouth a bit. To the defense, which is fine with me. And Besaint looked like he had a little something to say. Okay. Oh, Jim Kelly. My bad, Chris. You know I've got the memory of a Mongolian gerbil, right? Besaint wasn't playing. I bet you. I bet you Ward was running his mouth a little bit when they were about to go forward on fourth. Coop is the butcher who hands out the beef. I'll shut it down. I, I I told people there were multiple shows going on about me last night. And I said I will one-on-one -on -one with any of y'all. Because if you think there's some kind of beef, you're making it into something that's that's not there. That's on them, not me. Oh! 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 I thought Kirk was going to stay in. I thought he was going to go all the way. Damn, bro. But, I'll, I mean, I'll debate him. It, it's all love for me. I said, anyone who made it personal is 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 big weird. I'll call them out. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll debate any of them. Yeah, I like the trash talking. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Finish the drive. Let's finish the drive here. We want all the quarterbacks to have a scoring drive. All of them. Highlight so far of the day. Man, Shamar turned on the Jets, bro. Woo! 
Woo! And then cutting back, going back up the left side of the field. That was a heck of a play from Shamar. Debate, debate me, bro. What do you want to debate, Jay? What am I watching the game on? I'm watching the game on ESPN+. Plus. If you need a link, there's one at the bottom of the description. Are you able to watch, Chris? Come on, Emery. Third down, third down. Okay. Emory just delivers the ball right where they needed to keep running. Yeah, I think the biggest question mark for Emory was just the deep ball. Which given the field position now, we're not we're not gonna see on this drive. Yak has been a positive sign from the O and big negative on the D. That's fair take. What's better, blue or red? Easy question, Jay. Blue. And that's because that's the one I had growing up. End of debate. Have we seen Cam Ward yet? How did he look? We have seen all the QBs at least once, Chris. Uh, Cam Ward obviously getting the majority of the reps. Uh, Cam Ward has thrown two touchdown passes. I think he's... I have to pull up the stats. Because I think there's been another drive. But he's thrown for around 160 to 180 yards. No picks yet. Uh, Poff has not scored. Uh, Jakari Brown ripped off a big run. And then they, they scored. Uh, Poff has probably looked the worst out of all the quarterbacks so far if you if you if you want to say worse but just compared to what we've seen and emory williams right now is driving but they can't tackle the quarterbacks so it's kind of iffy on like you know sometimes they let it play out a tab when he technically would have been sacked you know thoughts on ufc 300 i got a little bet going tonight a little parlay All right, so what are they going to do on fourth then here? Are they going to let them go for it? Let them go for it. I agree, Sauce. Here we go, fourth and six. Let them play. It's a spring game. Let somebody make a play. Oh, Ray Ray! That's huge on a fourth and six, bro. That's huge. Touchdown, Miami! Yo. Y'all already know what's happening. Go to Utah. Go to Utah. I'm glad they're showing off the offense. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, it's exciting for fans if the defense gets like a pick six or the, a sack, which is not possible because they can't hit the quarterback. So a spring game, which is a fan first event, is more exciting if the offense pops off. Because again, there are times where they're in a position on the field where they would not go for it on fourth down, but they do, number one, to see if the team can actually just make it happen. You could put a hypothetical there, pretend like they're further down the field. Plus, it's more exciting for the fans. The fans aren't there to watch a bunch of punts and something boring. They want excitement. They want to engage with the fans. Emery's short like to intermediate passes are just mm, mm, beautiful. I, everybody, they'll find something, Dark. They'll find something. JB still look like JB can't hit the ground with the pass if he needed to. Uh, Chris, if I even speak JB, people flood in here and, and start accusing me of things. It's become some kind of weird. I'll have to fill you in later today. I still haven't. Game is being streamed on ESPN3. So you've got, you've got some options. Thomas, appreciate the sub. Yeah, you, you you can't 
You can't talk about it without there being some sort of motive. I'm rooting for all the guys. May the best man win. Staff hopefully puts them where they belong based on their evaluations in spring. That's it. Oh, come on. Bro, Arroyo. Dang. Hey, Chris, you won't even believe it. You won't even believe it when I break it down for you. Happy to see Emery held up. Yep. Drop a girl. Yes, we're missing both Malanoas, Briley. Both are out today. And there are some other guys that are being held out as a precaution. Just like there. They're letting that play out, but, but Cam would have been sacked there. Flag on the play, but like, just take it for what it's worth. They're letting some stuff play out. That That's a spring game. What is the flag, though? Was it holding? Just walk by the game on your way home? Oh. Oh. Yep, there it was. Any Lou Cristobal sightings? I'll be honest, I'm going to have to go back and rewatch it to see. It's tough because the cameraman blows. Cam is going to take this team to the next level. I sure hope so. This fan base is going to implode. If the if the team doesn't get double digit wins in year three with Mario, let me tell you. There it is, Mr. JoJo Trader moving the chains. Let's get it. There's JoJo. All right, let's see that Cam to JoJo connection here. That's a catch, right? No? Okay. Catch or no catch plus a flag? Oh, they, they don't want it to be too rough and wild, Chris. You can get new camera men from the portal, too. <laughs> well, they need it. <laughs> Yeah, I think a lot of that would be on Dawson, Briley. Uh, Dawson has not shown that he can. I don't even know how to, to. I don't want to dive too deep into that. Dawson has not shown me much of anything yet. Dawson has earned nothing so far. Did Dudu make it? He did. He got he took a pick with uh wide receiver coach Kevin Beard. He sent he texted it to me. All right, let's see what they can do. Twenty one seconds left before the half. Another sack. I'm telling you, that's kind of one of the bigger things for me. There's been a lot of pressure on the quarterbacks this afternoon. That's what Coop was telling me. Don't you put me in that, Chris. <laughs> oh, shoot. You saw Gary Furman on the sideline? He's, all, he's at everything. Oh, man. All right, third and 10 with 15 seconds left. Let them play. Come on. Okay. Mr. Consistent, XR7.
Okay. Come on. A quick score here. Let, let's pretend like this is this is in a live game here. You had Mish coming down. Come on. We ballin', boy. My man Joshua. Number one fan of the U. We'll talk about your question here in just a minute. Appreciate the 27 months, bro. Thank you for that. Hey. Hey. Careful. Careful, bro. My heart skipped a beat. I'm not even going to lie. All right, so they're going to take the field goal. I don't even have the stash in here. Mr. Borgalis, uh, we know he's automatic, so it don't even matter. Go ahead and put it through. There it is. There it is. It's spring game. What you doing, X? Man, that gave me a heart attack, bro. Uh. None of that. No hurdling, guys. So there's the stats, Chris. Cam Ward, 17 of 23, 260 yards, two touchdown uh, passes, no picks. In the first half, which is live contact, but no hitting the quarterbacks, of course. Second half is thudding only, no tackling to the ground. So... Go ahead and prepare yourselves, because uh, I can already I can already see the Twitter posts and stuff from opposing teams' fans. Miami can't tackle. Not saying that Miami has been tackling great. I'm just saying they're going to take the stuff out of context from the second half. It will happen. So yeah, deep balls one of six. Ouch. Agree on X, but like seeing the aggression. I, it's hard for Xavier Restrepo to tone it down you know what i mean like he wants he wants to go a hundred percent all the time and he's a competitor so to tell him that he has to dial it back a notch or two that's that's very difficult for him to do not a lot of deep balls but yak i'll take it we like yak we like the yak xr7 might get another 1000 yards but i don't know where the rest of the offense is going to come from nobody to take the top off the outside i agree 1000 percent of X, 90% of the completions have been within five yards of the line of scrimmage. Yeah, excellent take. Again, who will be that consistent deep ball threat, that outside guy that can take the top off of the defense? Right now, Miami still isn't showing that they have that. It's just spring. I, I know it's just spring. But who's it going to be? Who won the first half, offense or defense? <sighs> Again, I hate it, Spiratics, because I know people want to break it down like that, but it's just very tough to say. I mean, because, again, the defense is in a bad position either way because they can't hit the quarterback, and they're handcuffed a bit, just period. So uh, it's, it's kind of tough to say. It's really tough to say. Cam scored on all of his drives. Did he score on all of them, or was there one he didn't score? Yeah, and I mean, I hate being that guy, Spear Addicts. I always say that. I hate being the guy that rides the fence. I know that's a boring answer. Nope, nope, nobody wants to say, okay, who did better, this one or this one? And you say, eh, neither. I'm in the middle. Like, that's, that's so boring. But it's just it's it's tough to say. I mean, there's so much rotating. I know you're looking at it as a whole offense or defense, but it's it's so tough to say. George is your deep ball wide receiver. Well, then he's got to prove it. He's got to show it. Because again, for me, we need it consistently, and I I've got to see that. He didn't score his last drive. Okay, so Cam scored on all of his drives, but one. So how we feeling? Let's talk. We got a commercial break. It's halftime. Let's talk. It sucks because they're 
there aren't any other things we can pull up here just because it's not an official game. So we can't go to ESPN and, and pull up the official stats like we typically do. But we do know Cam Ward's number, 17 of 23, 260 yards, two touchdowns, zero picks. As far as Poff, Emery, and JB go, I don't have official numbers right now. Where is Jacoby George? Exactly. People are saying that's a deep ball threat. Well, then I need to see it. I need to see it. I'm putting down some stats here real quick, just while they're on, on the dome, on the top here. Yes, the realignment question. So, number one fan of the U asked, Coop, thoughts on where Miami lands when the ACC implodes? I'd like to, I'd like to think the SEC, but that's unlikely. I still also think that it's going to be longer than some people think before that happens with the ACC. Uh, Big Ten is, is most likely. Uh, it's anybody's guess, I, but that's, that's probably where. Do you feel like the O-line is playing good? Uh, overall, I've not been super impressed. I feel like the D-line has been getting after the quarterbacks, and if it were full contact on the QBs, there would have been multiple sacks in that first half. Again, taking everything into consideration with the rotating and all that stuff, but I feel like the D-line's been getting after them a bit, and the D-line's missing Reuben Bain this afternoon. And that's going to be one of those number one guys out there. Has JB played yet? Jakari Brown has played. He ripped off a big run, and he did have a scoring drive. Out of the quarterbacks, like if people want me to just be honest and rank them based on how they've performed right now, given all the circumstances, not playing favorites, we're just talking about what they've done right now. It would be Cam Ward, probably Jakari Brown, then probably Emory, then Reese. But that's just based off of how they performed in the first half of the spring game. Do you have a, 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 a complete O-line? Oh, a couple O-line missing due to injury, yes. So that's why Spiratics, it's so hard for me to give a, a straight up answer. You know my take, I think, on the spring games, which is it's a fan-first event. So I don't – if I dissect it, I'm dissecting it for fun. Like I, I know that's what everybody wants to do, and I will do it. I, let's just be honest, Spiratics. Like, this is what we do. So I've got to break it down because this is what everybody's going to talk about. But I really just do not overthink the spring game very much. Uh, there's guys missing on the O-line, guys missing on the D-line. Again, I would say, though, they've been getting after the QBs for sure. Ward has played. Yeah, Ward's played. I love JB's game. He's a baller. He's he's done pretty good. What's up, Juice? We haven't. You're right. We haven't had a ton of big runs. Some of the best runs have been from Elijah Lofton, and he's listed as a tight end but lining up in the backfield. Those are some of the biggest runs have been from Elijah Lofton. Pretty crazy when you think about it. So not a long break. Kicking things off here. JB11 out there. He pulled it and kept it. Okay. Remember, second half guys thudding, no tackling to the ground. Keep it in mind. Mario's cojones shrink to the size of BBs when the conference games start. Dawson coached wide open ball under uh, Holder. Hold, I always butcher that, Katie. I know who you're talking about. Mario gets weak in the knees and handcuffs him. Link to watch the game at the bottom of the description. All right, here we go. Let's go, Jakari. Let's go. Uh, false start. I do think Miami should get one guy. I like that. Um, shoot, I just went blank on his name. The the uh, the Oregon State running back. What was his name? Yeah, there have been some unnecessary penalties. Like we'll nitpick for sure. Is Max watching too? 
I kept him out of here in case the siren freaked him out. Oh! Bumble? That was Travante, right? Martinez. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, they'll approach him, I'm sure, because they, they want a guy with experience for sure. Dang. Citizen, but hey, clap it up for the defense. Yo, we said we wanted a fumble recovered by the defense or a pick. Clap it up for the defense. Yo. We'll take those, and that's the transfer. That's the transfer safety Riley from Vandy. This is what it take to wear the U on the side of your helmet. Just joining, but the game is on YouTube for free. Hey, Kane's Hunter 69, appreciate the two. Uh, let's do a check. I'll add a second link if there is one available. Are you talking about uh, T2Y? You talking about T2Y stream? Appreciate the two, man. T2Y is wild, bro. Martinez will be another 500k minimum. If he's interested, they would pay it. Yeah, that was definitely bad. And you you don't want to see that from Travante because that would be the guy that if Fletcher's not healthy, you would have thought would be RB1. If he's healthy. Yeah, I love T2Y to death, man. He's such a good dude, Kane Hunter. It's so tough since it's only thudding. This is another one where it's like the defense is at such a disadvantage, bro. Like you, your instincts are to like, you know, full on tackle, wrap up, take to the ground, this and is you what it can't. So you're playing kind of timid. To where do you on the side of your helmet? Imagine that a HB dive up the middle leads to a fumble. Yeah. Face with rolling eyes pouting. You're not wrong, number one fan of the year. Appreciate the 499, bro. And Travante Citizen at that. Hey. Oh! Ward off the back of his foot! Wait! Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Why are they not saying touchdown? What happened? Deep ball to Horton. What happened? Did it count? When will the simulation start again? Uh, first Friday in June. Give me just a second, Spiratics, and I'll look at your question there. All right, here we go. You still like seeing that connection. Maybe it's going to be Horton. Maybe Horton can be the consistent beat ball threat. Coop, are you worried about playing the Gators? UM is the more talented team, but Gators have key pieces returning. I wish UM played them like game six, then it would tell more truth. I'm going to dog the Gators. And, you know, I'm not a fan of Billy Napier, obviously. And I'm going to give them a hard time. I'm going to ride them hard, Spear Addicts. But let's be honest. It's an SEC opponent. It's in the swamp. And it's game one with a new quarterback for the Canes. I'm definitely worried about that game. The thing is, I believe Miami is the better team at the end of the day. But can Miami put it all together in a big time game one? Because that place will still be rocking. Right? Like I said, I'm, I'm trolling the Gators. I don't think they're going to be that great. 
You lose games all the time that you shouldn't lose. It happens. So no crazy predictions or anything until it gets here, but I'd be lying if I didn't say, or if I said I wasn't worried. Excuse me. If I was like, I'm not worried about that game even a little bit, then I'd be lying. Okay, okay. That's Jacoby, right? Y'all are ready. Touchdown pass to Jacoby George. Everybody kept saying, where's JG? Where's Jacoby? There he is. There he is. So that's a, that's a pair of deep balls from Ward. Okay. It's hating them Gators. Oh, I can't stand the Gators. Yep. That man Cam Ward really throwing dimes for real. The O-line's definitely got to hold up for him, but... I'm all right with what I'm seeing so far. Two of seven on deep balls across the board. Damn, Mish could not get there, bro. All right. But yeah, it, it's I'm not I'm not saying that I'm making any kind of predictions. I I think in the end I'm just gonna be real. It's way too early, Spiratics. But I, I would I'll I do believe Miami wins that game. If if you if you forced me to put money on that game right now, just with the knowledge we have at the moment, I my money would be on Miami, but I it definitely would be a little worried. How are the DBs looking to you, Coop? Not the best, man. Uh, there's been a lot of yak in in the spring game. A lot of guys picking up, you know, yards after the catch, after contact. Uh, eh, eh. You love Cam's touch on the ball? It looks so effortless when he throws it. I, that, that's what I like about the way Cam Ward throws the ball. Some people are not fans of it. How have the lines been playing in the running backs? I think the D-line has been playing a little bit better than the O-line, just personally. Running backs, uh, not super impressed. But again, we are missing Fletcher. We're missing A.J. Allen. The best guy back there running the ball has been Elijah Lofton, straight up. I don't even think it's been close. I mean, Whitley Humphrey has ha has flashed a little here and there, but nothing that's blowing me away. I'm not watching. Coop, does Mario need to grab a bunch of senior DBs from the portal? He needs a couple, yeah. Mm-hmm. Citizen not doing well. Uh, Citizen fumbled, and the defense recovered. And nothing super crazy from Citizen so far. I know it's spring, but not impressed overall. That's fair. That's fair. What happened on that one play that got called back? I have no idea. I have I I don't know if if they just wanted the drive to take longer because again sometimes they do some small situational type stuff. I don't know if there was a flag or if were, if you remember last year. Do you guys remember? I think there was a time where they scored, but Mario wanted to pretend there was a penalty to take it away from them and see how the offense would respond. So it could be that, that it was touchdown, and Mario said, no, 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 we'll pretend there was a, uh, a hold on the offense or something. Take it away, and then let's see how you guys respond. He likes to put them through some adversity to see how they do. Or I just completely missed it. That might not have been it. Will you have a stream when Miami plays the Gators? Of course. We're live every game day. Yeah, and see, that's the problem, Thomas. When you're playing each other, it's tough to say. Very tough to say. All right, so Judd Anderson, a look at the freshman. I guess he's already had two snaps, but 
Judd the Giant. Yeah, a lot. There, there, there are several people out. Yep, several people out. Some belt Billy is headed for another losing season, making four in a row for the Gators. I ain't sweating them at all. I am worried about the Louisville game. Yeah. Braum working some magic. Come on, Judd. Oh! Pick six! Freeney. Was that Freeney? Demetrius Freeney picks off the freshman quarterback, Judd Anderson, and takes it to the house for a pick six. We got what we, we got a couple of things we wanted to see with the defense, which was a forced fumble and recovery, and not just a pick, but a pick six. Yes, it's on the freshman. I know it's on Judd, but we're, we're just having fun with it. To help Fletcher out and not put too much on him coming back from an injury, do you think we grab a running back? Yes. Yep. You would expect something like that. Judd's a freshman. It's going to happen. It, it's going to happen. Still early in the process, but penalties, missed tackles, overthrows, just hasn't been confidence-inspiring. That's fair. This doesn't match the glowing reports that have been coming out of Green Tree, which is why I always say, take the coach speak with a grain of salt. You know what I always say, Briley. You just can't base it off of what the coaches say because they're not going to harp on them too hard in the, the, the media interviews and stuff. You got to see it, which is why I don't blame fans for saying, you know what, Coop, I've got to see it. I get it. Sauce says, damn, Judd. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, I'm going to miss the practices and stuff all the way till August. That's why I wanted to enjoy the spring game as much as possible. Because after this, we ain't, we're not going to be getting anything until you know, August at the earliest. Renee Simon, thank you for the $1.99 first super chat. Did you pull the message? What happened? What happened? It won't let me pin it since the message was retracted. If you want to drop it down in the chat, if there was a typo or something, let me know and I'll pin it up. Thank you for the two. I appreciate that. I did not expect this to be super exciting. I know some people did, and if it is, cool, but I I went into this feeling like it was just going to be, eh, it's all, it's all right. Only thing that popped out to me, Lofton is elite already. Imagine if Lofton stays. I'm not talking about this season, like he's staying, but I'm talking about long term. I've said that. It makes sense when people call him Little Debo, like Debo Samuel. Imagine if they can can properly utilize Lofton in the red zone. Bro, where's he going to be? You this don't know. Is, is he going to be tied in? Is he going to be receiver? You? Is, is he going to be the I'm running back? Who knows? DB problems. Need to get used to Cam's arm angles. Not worried with him. I don't read into O-line because they know you can't sack QB. Yeah. On D side, safeties and linebackers were not going to dig in. That said, some of the same issues still need fixing. Well said, Tucci. Well said. You're right, and that does that does play in your head a little bit, right? The quarterback can't get sacked, so even though you try to have that sense of urgency, it's still just not the same because they're not gonna get hit. You know. So it, it's kind of tough, right? And you're right on defense, safeties and linebackers weren't going to dig in. Some of the same issues. You? I agree. On the side of your hill. Well said. Well said, Tucci. What Tucci. up, fam? How is life? How you been? Luke. Luke Northrop. Thank you for the four ninety nine. Uh, life's been pretty good. We adopted a doggo about a month ago. He's been a blast. It's, it's, I've been pretty good, man. How about you, Luke? 
And again, Tucci, straight to the PayPal. Appreciate you, bro. Excellent take. I'm talking about the beat media and fans that have been observing practice. A lot of hype been floating around, and I expect it to be more uncomfortable watching this year. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But that, it's, I do agree that's what they do every season. That's what they do every year. Hanging in there, bro. Good to see you up and doing your thing. I appreciate you being here, Luke. I appreciate that, bro. Team looks way better than last year's spring game. Some people are saying they thought the spring game last year was more exciting. Now, excitement doesn't necessarily equal better. Depends on what's happening, right? I watched Virginia Tech spring game earlier. LOL, if y'all only knew how sorry they looked. Uh-oh. Face mask, okay. Eric, what's up? Coop and fans, how will whichever game Coop's running for his virtual games determine the quality of UM with so many new players? We're gonna find out. Oh, JB sending it. No. No. Jakari and Shamar might have a little something, something. Yo. Nice ball. Nice. We take those. Greg Bush. What's up, man? But I can say that all spring games across the nation are a little flat. And that's that's what I figured. I think most spring games are. I, I'm, I'm just being real. I'm not trying to back up Miami. I'm just saying. I think most probably are. I didn't expect a lot of creativity. I didn't expect it. I, I went in with basically zero expectations for this. Yeah, I agree, Briley. X is still definitely going to be a problem. Real talk. Let's go, JB. Oh, defense recovered. Was that a bad... S no? Hold on, let's run the uh, run that replay back on that. Light foot recovered? What happened here? Ah. Snap maybe a tad off. Couldn't really get it to Carr. It looked like Walden was behind him, Terrell Walden. We still counting deep balls? I think number one fan of the U is tracking them. All right, Marquise Lightfoot with the recovery. All right. Told you Jakari is like that. He had been showing out so far. All right, another look at Poff. Unfortunately, I think JB is out. As in, you think he hits the portal? Reese got to show me something. I agree. Uh, I know a lot of those guys have been hyping up Reese. Kane's insight has really been hyping up Reese. We got to see something out of Reese here a little bit. I agree. Yeah, Mesador should be good. But again, I know they're they're trying to be careful with guys that are coming back from injury. The last thing you want to do is bring in a guy like Mesador or Damari Brown. I know Damari Brown's out there. He's the one who flipped Restrepo over when he tried to hurdle him. The last thing you want is a guy finally kind of recovering, and then he gets injured in a freaking spring game. You know? Hoff Daddy ain't ready for the big time JB is staying. I hope he does. How was Ward? Definitely QB1 when compared to the other guys, which is expected. It's it's kind of like you, you got Ward here, and then everyone else kind of starts over here. It's not like it's Ward, and then the next man up is here. Like, it's... Th th there's a little bit of a noticeable gap. 
In this sample size, that's a great way to put it, Sauce. In this sample size, JB has looked better than Poff. Probably better than Emery as well. Uh, Emery's great again with those like short to intermediate passes. Like they're on the money. But it looks like when it comes to being able to also extend plays or take off and run the ball and deep balls, it looks like Jakari's got the edge. The koozie bubbling. See, look, all them people thinking we hate on Jakari, they didn't even know. They didn't even know we created a nickname for Jakari over here on the channel. Mr. Jacuzzi. <laughs> that started right here. All these guys are canes. I room for all of them, bro. Emery don't look bad, but not great. I agree. That's not a nickname. It, it is if we say it is. Done spilled my drink. Does Ward look like the superstar some expect? I'm not making excuses, Cliff D, but I don't think anybody looks like a straight superstar in the spring game for the most part. I think it's just too... It, I think it'd be impossible to say that. There's, there's too many variables at play. Honestly, the portal stuff is exhausting, Scotty Digital. It really is. I can't imagine from a coach's point of view. Like, it's... It get, it's difficult enough to keep up with everything just as a content creator who talks about the Canes. I can't imagine having to consistently actively recruit your own roster while also doing regular recruiting plus looking into the transfer portal. I would hate it. Oh, yeah, of course. Star Florida, of course. He stay in. Ward looked good, but room to improve. Sauce Vader says Ward looked as good as advertised. Nobody looks elite in the spring game. There's not enough significance for guys to prove themselves. I agree, Brandon. Yep. I think that's I think that's the, the best way to look at it. Agreed. All right, Poff in that offense on the field. Can't convert on the third down. I'm guessing they're going to give them an opportunity on fourth here. This thing's slowly coming to a close, y'all. It's already almost over. Where's your homeboy, Rocky Top Kane? He's in here. X looks like a superstar. You ain't wrong there. We knew that, though, right? We knew X was going to do his thing. Oh! What was going on there? X is Mr. Consistent. Yep. Cam Ward is a starting guy. He knows that, so no need to be a stud. Agreed. Dang, Brandon, you're on it this afternoon, bro. You are on it. Jacuzzi. That's what we... Jacuz, Jacuz or Jacuzzi? I don't even remember how that started. Wishing Miami luck against Florida. I hope y'all win everything except against us. I mean, an undefeated matchup, Miami versus FSU, would be sick, Michael. I'm not even going to lie. Will Howard didn't look good during OSU spring game? Ooh. All right, Judd the Giant again. You can tell bro's a freshman. He's got the size. Hopefully they can develop him. I got you, Scotty. Maybe. I'd have to go back and rewatch them. I'd like to see Judd make a big throw, though. We saw... I, I guess we saw Emery the least. But it kind of just depends on how it fell, right? It feels like we saw the least amount of Emery. But that would also make sense. Given the circumstances. 
Hey, Canes for life. I appreciate you, bro. Hey, man, I'd love it, Legendary Scratch Bills. I'd love it. Come on, Judd. Okay. Just want to see some completions from Judd at this point. Man, there's, there, the potential is there to win 10, bro. Canes can't beat FSU. Nothing's impossible. Nothing's impossible, bro. Exactly. Yeah, I I agree that Judd is struggling out there, but it, it happens, right? Yeah, they're they're gonna pull him out, and they're 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 gonna put Emory out there. All right, here we go. Come on, Emory. So they're, they're going to go quick here. Let's see if Emory can come out there. Maybe they go tempo a bit. I don't know if they're going to do that. But the clock is ticking. Put Emory out there. Yo, let's see. Let's see. Wait, Brig, are you watching the spring game? Come on, Emory. All right. Let's run it. Let's move. Yeah, see, I mean, those, those passes are on the money from Emory. I'm very happy to see Ray Ray getting lots of catches in the spring game, though. Like, it's, it's time for him to take that next step. He showed out in the spring game last year, didn't get a lot of playing time. He was a freshman. It's year two, second year in Dawson's offense. He's grown a bit. Let's go. Send it, Emory. And that, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Honestly, about exactly what we expected it to be. Again, we are going to dissect it. We're going to nitpick it. If I'm being honest, though, it's kind of just for fun since it's the, the spring game. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna dissect it just because it, it it's fun to talk about it, bro. Uh, people get really butt hurt about it, but it, it's just for fun. And I'll, I'll make sure that I add that for each of the videos where we talk about the spring game. Uh, Cam Ward did what he needed to do, given that it was a spring game. Based on the as uh, who was it that said that? Who was it that, that worded it this way where you said based on the sample size that we saw? Where are you at? I think it was Sauce Vader. I think it was Sauce. I love the way that he said that. Based on the sample size we got of each of the quarterbacks in the spring game, purely based off of that, I would say Cam Ward 1, obviously. Jakari 2. Emory three, if they were planning on playing Emory, I don't know what they're going to do with the red shirt thing. And then Poff. Poff, we don't count Judd. Judd's a freshman. He's not going to be in the mix, period, this season. It just won't happen. So we're looking at those four guys. Poff would be in last based off of the spring game. That's just straight up real talk. Jakari was probably, Jakari was definitely second best. And then uh, Emory in three. Absolutely. And that, that's why I kept saying, though, again, people, I promise you, I probably can already pull up my video and people are going to be like, Coop, did you see Jakari in the spring game? He looked pretty good. But it, I've, ne I've never thrown any shade. I've never made any, any type of depth chart. It, I, I'm not trying to explain myself. I'm just saying we still don't even know that we still can't even base it off of this because I feel like the coaching staff already has an idea. They've already figured these out in, in, in the closed scrimmages. They're not going to announce it. Heck, Mario, I'm pretty sure last year, Miami didn't even release a depth chart the week of the first game, right? 
Was that last year or the year before? They they don't really do the depth chart stuff. Did Cam have 161 passing? No, it was like 250 or 260. I'd have to look again. I think it was two. I think it was 260 at one point, but then he had another drive. So I'll have to get. There'll be like some unofficial numbers probably that come out pretty soon. But it was it was minimum 260. Off look trash to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. He had a rough time out there. He did. Why did you become a Miami fan instead of a Vol fan? You live in Tennessee, and we clearly are much better. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't know about that second part. But it's I, I don't like being like everybody else. Every, I live in Tennessee, so everybody here, not everybody, but kind of, is a Tennessee fan. I didn't want to be a Tennessee fan. Uh, I thought those uh, my first college football game was the 2001 National Championship, and the Miami Hurricanes just made an impression on me. Hurricane 357 says QB2 is up in the air. Uh, Brandon says Jakari looked comfortable. I don't know about against elite defenses in an actual game, but he looked better in the spring game in this spring game than last, and he was in control. Well said. And this applies again before people try to spin stuff and make it sound like something crazy. This applies to everyone that played in the spring game. It's not just about Jakari; it applies to everyone. The quarterbacks could not be tackled and taken to the ground, so that does change some things. But again. Based on what we saw here, that is what makes the most sense. Cam, Jakari, Emery, Hoff. JB looks better, uh, but at least one light year behind Cam. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Oh, there is a noticeable gap. That's why we said it's it's kind of like Cam is here. Uh, and everyone else is over here. There's no, like, nobody would be, if this were an open competition, which we know it's not, they brought in Cam, Cam is given the keys to the offense. If this were an open competition, none of those guys would take Cam Ward's place. Cam Ward would not, nobody would be nipping at his heels, honestly. I will say overall the run game was uninspiring. Didn't look that great. Again, the number one guy. Now, Fletcher's out. A.J. Allen's out. To Keep that in mind. Nothing crazy home. with the run game. Lofton did the best. Got to fix the RB vanilla play calling. Honestly. You can still call an off tackle, counter, or sweep <laughs> even in the spring game and still be vanilla. 90% HB dives. Fair. Fair. And the reality is that might carry over to the season. Number one fan of the year, which I know terrifies you. And everyone else. Uh, there's a chance that, that that carries over because that's what we've seen. There's the stats. I'm taking a picture of this. Hold on. There it is. Hurry up, Coop. There it is. 19 of 24, 324, three touchdowns, zero interceptions. From Cam Ward. There it is. But Lofton was the best back out there, and he's listed at tight end, right? Uh, D-line was able to get after the quarterbacks. Guys out on O-line and D-line kind of is what it is. Uh, deep balls were questionable early. It picked up a little bit later on in the game. It just, it's about what I expected. It's about what I expected. Any of the freshman wide receivers make an impact? Uh, JoJo, JoJo did all right. JoJo did all right, yeah. Jakari was the second best QB today. Agreed. Yep. Of course, Ward looks better. If he didn't, they would not have given him the money. Well, I mean, that's true, but he could still come out and base, I'm just going to be blunt. He could come out and shit the bed in the spring game. I mean, it could have happened, but thankfully it didn't. One before this game, I was trolling a little when I said JB and, and Poff could both transfer. Now I think JB could be the one who gets an offer somewhere and Poff might stay. It could be. And no, the thing is, Briley, either way, even if I were to throw a shot at you for that opinion, this stuff is always evolving. Like, it's it's fluid, right? Like, it's always changing. So, with the transfer portal, that thing is going to open up here soon. You just don't know what's going to happen, man. You just don't know, right? And that's true. We have some guys coming in that could change things. Coming back from injury and guys coming in in the, tw in the last class 
that are coming in in the summer. Jordan Lyle will be coming in. That's a good point, Michael. But overall, as everyone said, I need to remember when I do the breakdown videos to make sure that I add this is purely based on what we did see in the spring game. So we're not thinking about hypotheticals in the season when Fletcher returns, when Allen returns, when the Malanoa brothers are back, Damari Brown's 100%, Mesidor's 100%. We're not taking that into account. We're taking what we saw today and just talking about that specifically. So what was Spiratic's question? What's your biggest concern from the small sample size from the spring game? My biggest concern? Ooh. You guys fire back, too. What's your guys' biggest concern? We'll go both ways. We'll, we'll do both real quick while we're still live. We're, our, the view count's climbing. Let's talk about it. What's your biggest concern coming out of the spring game? And then we'll get to our biggest positive. But let's start with concern. Let's start with the negative. Let's get that out of the way first. What's your biggest concern after watching this? Keeping in mind, I know good gravy coop with the disclaimers, but we have to. It's just the spring game. Guys, we're out. But what we saw right here, what would be your biggest concern? I want to see what you guys think as well. Cam Ward throwing off his back foot scares me. That happened multiple times. And one of them did connect, but the O-line... Mm. Yeah. Uh, o line based on this game only. Okay. DB's biggest concern is his coaching. Oh, that one hurts because that one's not going to change. Let's see. I like how Cam extended plays and, and connected. Let's see. Uh, secondary, center play. Running back is a problem, which hopefully that changes if Fletcher and A.J. Allen are back. And if they if it's looking questionable, they bring in a guy from the portal. But you're right. We're purely looking at the spring game. Lofton is technically not a running back and isn't going to have, you know, 15-plus carries in a game as running back. So they're going to have to have some other guys step up. Trevante Citizen fumbled, recovered by the defense. Didn't see anything crazy from Whitley Humphrey or anyone else, so we'll just have to see. O-line run blocking fundamentals overthrows miscommunications there were several penalties definitely this team looks sloppier than i expected okay i think spring game means nothing but glad to see jb number two since i'm a fan that's fair let's see defensive backfield that seems to be most people's biggest concern defensive backfield o-line is definitely no concern that i do know okay JB needs to be somewhere that coach hands him the ball and says, go do it. Yeah, I'm, Again, Jakari Brown oozes athleticism. I appreciate you, Joe. Yeah, all kinds of crazy stuff going on in the world, right? Wild stuff, bro. Elijah Lofton needs to go out for passes. I hope they use him that way. That's where I've said Elijah Lofton needs to be the red zone monster for the Canes. That's been something that's plagued Miami is, is consistency in the red zone, being able to finish drives, walk away with points down there, especially touchdowns, because we know Andy can most likely put it through. Elijah Lofton is that guy that, that could be a handful for the defense. Injuries. My only concern, did anyone get hurt? It did not appear that anyone got hurt. So I think we're safe when it comes to that, and that's a good point. That was Trevante Citizen that fumbled. Yes, and that was Savion Riley that forced that fumble. The safety transfer from Vandy. Lofton was our best running back. Agreed. DBs will get help when the defensive front seven is playing. That's a good take. Based on the spring game, UF is still in trouble on the defense from what I have seen. I'm, I still think Miami's on top. And you know I set fandom to the side, Spiratics. You know that. I literally came on your show and predicted Florida State to beat us, and that ain't easy to do. That was a tough pill to swallow. So you know I'm going to keep it real and honest. Yeah, that's, it's always tough to judge the spring game, and that's why I laugh. There's going to be overreactions. There's going to be some shenanigans and stuff, but it's fine. I, I'm here. I'm here for it. Yeah, JB is probably a little more athletic than Cam, yeah. I could you you could possibly talk me into that. Yeah, I think he if he goes somewhere he'll pop off. 
in the right environment. The O-line is one or two injuries from being mediocre, then it falls apart. That's always something that sucks. Right, that can really change the outlook of the entire season. What's up, Gator? Same old haters in this chat. <laughs> All right, so we talked about some of the biggest concerns. What about your biggest positive takeaway to wrap this thing up? We won't stay live super long because I'll do, I'll do a react video. What's your biggest positive takeaway from this afternoon? So the overall consensus appears to be uh, DB's defensive backfield was a, a, an issue possibly and uh, the run game. Uh, play calling with the run game and the running backs in general, knowing that we're missing some guys again. Most positive takeaway. I'll give you a second. Most positive takeaway from the spring game. Come on, let's see them. I want to see what you guys think. We need Francis back ASAP. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he'll, he'll be ready for the Florida game. I hope you guys aren't wagering on beating Florida. If you do, you better save some money for food. George, George, George. I hate it for you, my man, but you're going to be severely disappointed. Hmm. You're going to be real disappointed, George. Let's see. Uh, Cam is as advertised. They wanted to show off Cam today and play one-on-one. -on -one. This is far from what the team will look like first game. Agreed. Uh, Cam's ball placement and accuracy was astounding. Okay. Cam Ward. X is first-round wide receiver. X continues to just, I say, prove people wrong. There's a lot of Canes fans who respect Xavier Restrepo, but there's also a large portion that do not like him. And I hope he keeps proving people wrong and popping off. I do think one, 1K plus yards incoming, 100%. Cam, Horton, yeah. Horton, okay. That, that, that Cam Ward to Isaiah Horton connection could be special. Wesley Besant looks better, I agree. And I like that he was popping off with, with Cam Ward a little bit. They were jawing, and I like that. Shamar Kirk earned his spot today. Shamar Kirk played really well. Let's see. Basically what we knew before, DBs aren't up to snuff. Run game is uninspired. Seems par for the course, yeah? Wide receiver core is solid. We look 100 times better than UF comparing both spring games. I'll have to watch the Florida one. What's up, Chris? Chris, we're just, tell we're just going over our biggest positive takeaways from the spring game. We already talked about negatives. We're on to the positives to wrap up. We saw exactly what a lot of the Hurricane channels have been reporting. Pretty cool. True. I think that's true. Ward is the smoothest QB I've seen at Miami. Looks effortless. X is a hard guy to dislike. I don't see how you can dislike him. He does everything he's supposed to do on and off the field. How can you dislike that? He doesn't get into any type of trouble. He's all about football. How can you not like that? Maybe that's why they don't like him. It's possibly why they don't. The, the Gators, the Gators are ass water. <laughs> oh, I love that, Chris. Oh, I love it. My only concerns are coaching and. Uh, DB and running back play. I think wide receivers will get it together, but what would Cam look like versus good DBs? Um, I mean, true. That, that's why it's tough because we're seeing Miami play themselves. So it's just like we said, Spiratics with, you know, they, they get a pick six. Granted, it was Judd, who's a freshman, who's not going to play, but then people are like, do you applaud the defense or do you get pissed at the quarterback? Like, so it's tough when we play ourselves. We are underestimating playing in the Swamp for the first game. Oh, I already said that that game scares me. That's an SEC opponent at their house, game one. I think Miami has the edge, but it's too early to say. Too early to say. Looked pretty balanced. Again, what we expected. What we expected. What's not, liked, what's not to like about X. So the big argument with Restrepo 
was just a lot of people saying that he was taking snaps from more talented receivers. He's putting in the work. He's earned the snaps. He's consistent. He's got certified hands. I think it was the love the, 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 the love connection from TVD to Restrepo, and it pissed a lot of people off. But as you can already see, he's still going to be that dude with Cam Ward back there. It is what it is. I agree. If, if, you wanna, if somebody wants to step up and take some snaps away from Restrepo because you feel like that they have more potential, more top-end speed, uh, they have the ability to pick up more yards after the catch, then prove it then come in and take over. Because right now, that guy is X. Straight up. And maybe they had more talent. Yeah, but you got to put it all together. you got to be the complete package. Do you know how many have to leave in the portal to get to the scholarship limit? I'll have to double check again, to be honest. Spear Addicts. I think it was somewhere between like 8 to 10. Or eight to twelve, somewhere around in there. It's 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 a pretty decent amount. Don't quote me on it though, because again, we've already had Parrish leave, uh, we've had Kelly leave, so I'd have to look at the numbers again. I'd have to run the numbers to see for sure. But that some guys, it's it's not like you know, does anyone leave? It's how many and who, because they have other positions that they need some extra help. So they're, they're going to have to have some some conversations. Definitely. JB, I think, should be QB number two. If we base it off of spring game performance, I agree 100%, Chris. JB played the second best in that quarterback room today. By far. Da uh, Dawson offensive scheme features Restrepo's position. But, I mean, you, at the end of the day, you still got to catch it. You still got to make a play. I agree, Dale. I agree. You ever get the urge to demolish the Mario cutout? Oh, oh, I mean. If I could tell you the amount of times that I've thought about take, taking this man outside and going a couple rounds. Just straight clocking him. But then I remember that a cardboard cutout of a human being is about a hundred bucks. So is it worth a hundred dollars to knock out a cardboard cutout of Mario Cristobal? Eh, I, I I don't know about that. I don't know if it's worth it. So then I kind I kind of come back down to reality and remind myself, Coop, that's a hundred dollars. Chill, bro. Chill. JB was not better than Reese or Emery. You don't think so? In the spring game? We're, you got to remember, we're purely talking about the spring game. We're, talk, we're talking about the performance you saw today. I'm not applying any previous stuff, and I'm not applying anything we've heard about practice. I'm literally only talking about the performance in the spring game. And that could still be your opinion, which is fine. How many drops you counted? I'll have to go back. I'll have to go back and see. There's a pic of me threatening that cardboard cutout. Uh, there is. I still have it. I could show it if you want. <laughs> Drop a guy was going to beat Mario up. I remember that. I had to separate him. Because she was like, Coop, let me at him. And I was like, Drop a guy? No. No. And she was like, I, 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 I want a piece. Let me at him. I had to calm her down. I've got a picture of it somewhere, Drop a gal, but... There it is. Can I show it? I can. Here, it's on my phone. Here it is. There's Tropical with the cardboard cutout Mario at the tailgate last year. You see Chris Gaffney in the background. See, she's smiling in that picture because I was taking a pic. But what really happened is she wanted to knock him out. I, honestly, that's really about it. That's really about it for the live hangout for the spring game. I'm going to do like a, an instant reaction probably 
after this, like an immediate instant reaction. And then I'll do a full recap, which we'll talk about the stats. Originally, I thought it, it kind of seemed silly for me to do two different videos, but then I realized that it might take some time for full blown stats to come out from it because it's just going to be what media puts out that was at the game and, you know, was kind of keeping track of it. I'd rather just do kind of an initial immediate reaction to the spring game where we just hit on some of the high points, the highs and the lows. We discuss it in the comments and then I'll do a full sit down, deep dive, break down, run the numbers, and then we'll, we'll talk about it more in depth. Coop, I don't understand why Lou Cristobal is on scholarship taking away other scholarships when his dad can obviously pay his tuition. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. They, they like Lou Cristobal as someone who has experience that they could plug in if needed. Uh, long term, I, I don't think that he would be the starter, but they like him as a backup guy that they feel like they can trust based on the experience. Um, but outside of that, I don't know. Two years ago, we were all complaining our wide receivers couldn't catch. Yeah. Yep. So that's about it. Hey, if you guys could do me a favor and like this stream, if you haven't done so already, uh, we had around three to 400 people all afternoon, which is awesome. And again, we went in, we went into it with just kind of low expectations just to have fun. It's Miami Hurricanes football in April. It's a spring game. At this point now, it'll be breaking down the spring game, dissecting it, overreacting to it, and then hypotheticals. Hypotheticals. I mean, way too early season predictions, depth chart predictions. It's going to be a bunch of hypothetical videos, so bear with me. Uh, it's the off season, And then in June, we'll ramp up the simulations, and then hopefully we get news on the college football, twenty uh, new college football game. I tried to say three different things at once. Well, hopefully we'll get news on the new college football game, and then we'll do some streams where I play you guys. So get your PlayStations and Xboxes ready because I'm ready to take you guys on in some live streams so you can showcase your skills in front of the college football family. Cam Ward says he's re-entering the portal. <laughs> Uh, how many tight end targets were there? I'll have to go back because I don't have an official number, Jim, but they did throw to the tight ends this afternoon. So, And there was a touchdown that was thrown to a tight end. So, we'll see. We'll see. You guys know what to do. I appreciate all the love this afternoon. My man, Legendary Scratch Builds, owning the board with the 30-50. Now all eyes are set on the Florida Gators. Now we can all come together we have one common goal here, and it's to hate on the Florida Gators. Spring is over. Miami versus Miami will still happen in some practices, but the big spring battles are done. Now it's time to set our sights on those dirty, stinky, no good Florida Gators. We can't stand those guys. Nobody here likes them. Heck, I don't even know if George likes them sometimes. Be tough to be a Florida fan, man. Let's take care of business. Where can you watch the game now? Someone will probably re-upload it to YouTube. And then if you don't find that, they'll re-air it on ACC Network Monday at 2 p.m. And that's regular ACC Network, not ACC Network Extra. Otherwise, I'm sure it's going to be on YouTube. Let's be honest. Probably going to be on YouTube. Uh, will you keep having Friday Night Lives? Yes. I'll always be live every Friday night. Unless something crazy happens. So uh, even next week, it's not time for Sims yet, but I'll be live. We'll talk about something. Absolutely. So you know I appreciate y'all. Thank you for all the love this afternoon, all the donos, the new subs, all the follows. Thank you. I see the likes going up. Appreciate y'all. I'm going to do an immediate reaction that will go up here in a few minutes. So I love y'all. Hey, come on. We know what to do. Help the new people out. Help the new people out. Show them the way. I'll see y'all in the, the immediate reaction video.